Hey, what's up my little title talks? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are L Lori Harvey, all I know you saying is another one, another one, another one. Y'all, what am I talking about? Marjorie Harvey's disciple, right? The P-I-M-P -P by blood, not relation. It looks like she might have a new man, baby. And he is, of course, because you know Lori has requirements. He looks good. His career looks better. And baby, that she was going to fall off after Michael B. Jordan. If you guys know what I'm talking about, she is rumored to be dating the star of Snowfall. We're going to get into that in a second. But also, it's rumored that Lori Harvey actually has a million dollar NDA that she makes every man sign before she even goes out on a date with him. And all I got to say is, baby, Lori Harvey is the epitome of, okay, listen, Lori was born beautiful, right? She, her mom made sure that she grew up rich. Fine, maybe everybody can't do that. But Lori is the epitome of a new generation of young women knowing their worth. And I am here to congratulate her. Pimp, pimp, hooray. Pimp, pimp, hooray. Y'all, let's get into it. Where y'all gonna start off? Let's start off with the NDA because that's what had me flipping out. When I said, baby, know your worth. And you know what? The way a lot of rappers and ball players and just men in the public eye keep dragging and talking trash about the women they date, even making songs about them, every girl, every girl, no matter how much they tell you you're disposable, no matter how much they tell you you're a groupie, don't hate, learn. I'm not saying y'all hating, but you know, the people don't hate, learn from Lori. Let me tell y'all something before we get into this million dollar thing. Instagram changed the game. It really did. Let's think about when people were trying to be around ball players and entertainers and all that stuff, right? They had all the power. They had all the influence. And a lot of times they dismiss women being like, she a groupie, she a groupie, she a groupie. When I would say, look at the entourage to which most pe men in power have, 80% of the entourage is men. Ain't nobody a groupie more than a man trying to kiss up to his boy that has all the fame, has all the clouts, literally swimming for the women he rejects so they can get. So okay, there's everybody that is around a celebrity, not, but you know what I'm saying? Most of them around are clout chasing, are holding on, but women are often penalized for it. However, Instagram changed the game. Instagram, I was talking to one of my good friends and she actually made a good point. Instagram changed the, the game. A lot of these guys that, yeah, you got clout, yeah, you got money, yeah, you got this, but just dating this girl that also got a couple of million on Instagram. You're dating this girl that has access to a new audience or a media audience that you want. You're dating a girl that why, like, you know, in certain circles, you might be, what's up, baby? She can literally expand your clout. So a lot of these little girls are Insta-famous. And I know everybody likes to look down on the girls that are Insta-famous, but a lot of these girls are Insta-famous. And everybody just wants to act like, oh my God, it's just Instagram. Girl. It's not, it's not. Instagram, if you have not known, welcome to 2022. We're about to go into 2023. Those followers are power. That influence is power. And the guys know it. They are now dating girls because yeah, they might like her. Yeah, she looked cute. But guess what? She got Instagram followers that's going to help them hype up a new album. When she's on her stories dancing so cute and seductively to your new album, you know that single's going to blow up. These new generation of women have money and power. And men are going after their money and power. And they're going after their clout. You guys don't believe me? Look at Look at Jada Waiter, right? Look at um, uh, Ari, right? Remember when Ari, everybody's talking about Ari with some trash from the South Side? And now look at that girl glowing and growing. Look at all these Insta influencers. Again, look, let's look at Lori Harvey. You can't help being born beautiful. Your mom made sure, but you ain't have nothing to do with that. Your mom made sure that you grew up rich, but Lori is making sure that baby, I ain't going to live my life dumb. Let's hear about this million dollar NDA. And to every woman that's dating a man whole high profile, please make sure he signs an NDA because if he doesn't want to, what's the harm? You're going out with me because you think I'm pretty or you want to sleep with me or you want this or you want that, right? Let's sign an NDA saying that things go wrong. You can't say a bad word about me. And let's also not forget that the same people talking trash about Lori Harvey doing this, every man she's dated has had the same NDA. 
future, well, I don't know about future, future busy spreading the seed, trying to repopulate the world, right? He Tristan Thompson, but instead of basketball, he's really skilled at making a hook. But again, ladies, know your worth. If a man is not willing to sign a contract saying that if things fall apart, he will not disparage your name, why are you even around him? Are you so lowly to him that you have to even sacrifice a potential embarrassing situation in the future just to be around him? I mean, listen, if you think it's worth it, go do you. But for me, if a man would not willingly sign something like that, I don't know, I wouldn't go with him anyway, but let's get into this, right? Lori Harvey dating NDA with men, that's a stiff penalty. I know that's right, I like the sound of that song, turn it up. Lori Harvey, Ar Harvey is not the one as it relates to these men. It will cost you if you violate her as it should. And let's not forget these same men have those ironclad D NDAs um, that they have most of the women sign. Again, they do, they do, they do. So good for you, Lori. I will say one thing about Lori, every person she dates, she learns from. Lori Harvey makes all her suitors sign a non-disclosure agreement before dating her. This is legal. This is a legally binding agreement and has a huge penalty for those that violate. Now we know Lori's had several high profile men from future to Michael B. Jordan. Her stepdad is Steve Harvey. And you know, Steve, let me tell you something. Steve Harvey gives relationships advice to women. Steve, if you don't sit yourself down and let Marjorie get up, y'all sitting there talking about y'all what? The Sierra, most Sierra prayer is a good prayer to have. But let me tell you something. You need a Lori Harvey godmother to really get things popping anyway, right? But shout out to the Sierra prayer. prayer. They said, um, listen, so let's get into it. According to rumors, anyone who dates or must sign a legally binding non-disclosure agreement. Now, I do have to say this, right? I do have to say this. This is on Media Takeout. Media Takeout was the first to report this. I know what y'all saying, girl, Media Takeout. However, it seemed like it had a grain of truth in because nobody, no matter who was with Lori Harvey, nobody talks shit about her. Nobody talks badly. And don't tell me these men went. She dated Future. And the fact that Future don't even got nothing to say to her, she dated Michael B. Jordan. Although I do honestly believe that he's the one that messed that up and was messing with one of his exes. I do believe that. Again, it started off as a PR relationship, but my version of PR the relationships is your PR team is like, hey, you guys are cute. Do you want to get together? And then if you guys like each other, they start pushing. But it's kind of like not an arranged marriage, but it's an arranged relationship. But y'all have to like each other for the relationship to go further, right? So I know it's a bit, judging by the way Marjorie moves, the way she dodged the future bullet, the way she had Michael B. Jordan and said, er, next, right? Yeah, this sounds like Marjorie all over it, and I'm not mad. Anyway, let's get into the media takeout. Lori's changing the dating game for celebrity women and behaving like many male celebrities have been for years. Media takeout spoke to one of Lori's friends who broke down a few strict rules that Steve Harvey's daughter has for any man interested in wooing her affection. And according to Lori's friends, she makes all men sign an airtight non-disclosure agreement before she even considers anything romantic between them. The friend explained, Lori makes all the men sign an NDA to make sure that whatever they talk about is personal and confidential. Woo! The friend told Media Takeout that the contract stops any potential suitor from sharing any photos or messages that they exchange. It also precludes them from saving any screen captures of their discussions or communications, including video conferences. I'm not mad. And there are some pretty serious consequences. If any man violates the agreement, the friend told Media Takeout there's a $1 million penalty if the agreement is violated. The friend also said that the agreement is airtight and was drafted by the same top Los Angeles law firms who created Drake's infamous non-disclosure agreements. When asked Lori friends if she could name any celebrity men who willingly signed the agreement, Lori's pal wouldn't name names, but told us anyone that wants to date Lori has to sign it. No exceptions. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. If you're mad at Lori Harvey for having this because you don't think she's worth it, you think she's too full of yourself, she don't think, maybe that's you, just don't date her and tell nobody you know to date her. But for the men that actually want her, let me tell y'all something, Steve Harvey was right about one thing. When a man wants you, he'll make it known he wants you. He'll make it known that he's gonna start off and respect you the way he should. Shout out to Lori Harvey, but also baby, 
This was first broken a few days ago by Fee from Gossip in the City. If you don't follow Gossip in the City, make sure you do. Fee actually be coming through with some receipts, right? There was, um, uh, so the guy that stars in Snowfall, let me make sure I get his name right, um, Damson Idris. He's a, he's a, he's a UK bloke. Very handsome. He always is entertaining people at his home. Last time he was entertaining Sw Sweetie at his home. Now, Damson um, uh, Idris, no uh, relation to Elba. Uh, Justine Sky actually posted um, a little Friendsgiving get together that looked really fun that her and Lori were over a friend's house. However, in the corner, you see Damson Idris and that is his house. Now, do we know for certain if Lori Harvey is dating him? No, but it's just her and Justine. And he does, they would make a cute couple. They are age appropriate. I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think about this man? I mean, he has everything that Lori wants. And if you look at this video, he was literally caught on the screenshots. Um, and if you go to Justine Skye's Insta stories, I might post it up here if I'm not being too lazy. If you look at Justine Skye's Insta stories, they showed they were having a ball. Fee swears that this is Lori Harvey's new man. We do know that her and Justine Skye are hanging heavy with them. Justine Skye, I believe, has a boyfriend. But for whatever reason, people are saying um, that Lori is the one the new one um i don't know y'all i don't know i don't know but i do think there is something anyway you guys let me know what you think of uh let me know what you think of this i wonder why it's been disclosed that Lori makes all her guys sign a non-disclosure agreement do you think that this guy wants to seriously date her and he was like i'm not signing the nda and Lori's like well everybody does and they put this out there but again again what is the harm? You might think Lori's too full of herself. I think she knows her worth. And I think every woman should make a man sign this before you give him any, inf before you give him the time of day. But definitely if you're thinking about sending them intimate pictures, being frisky, girl, know what you're worth. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.